In this problem, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about finding half-life and creating a formula when we're given that we know a population decays exponentially and a couple of values. So we have a population, and I'm just doing very general, this can be applied to bacteria, carbon dating, um, so, um, a whole bunch of different uh, scenarios. So it decays exponentially from 100 to 20 in one week, units, whatever those are, depending on what you're dealing with, grams, um, so on and so forth. So, number of uh, bacteria in the population. So let's find it. What we're going to do is we're going to find its half-life and get a formula in terms of number of days. And so we're going to look at a way of solving this. So one way is I can think of 100 as my initial. And I know that there's going to be some rate of decay. And it actually doesn't matter which um, model you use, a, b to the t, or a, e to the k, t. So for this problem, I'm going to go ahead and use a, b to the t. Gosh, I said it and forgot to write it. Um, and so I've got 100 b to the number of days, 7, equals 20. This is going to find my rate of decay in seven days. So basically I solve this for B. So I divide both sides by 100. And so over here I get 1 fifth or 0.2. So 1 fifth equals B to the seventh. Now I don't need logs to solve this equation because there's no because I, I know the exponent. You only want to use logs when the unknown is in the exponent. So I get I take both sides to the 1 7th and so I get that B equals 1 5th I'm just going to write it as 0.2 now uh, to the 1 7th well let's think about why this is, why this makes sense it's going from 100 to 20 so there's 20 percent left in seven days so 20 percent remaining in seven days gives us our base so we can actually make the model now um, now that we know B, we know that our model is going to look like Y equals some initial amount times 0.2 to the T over 7. Because we know it decays to 20% in 7 days. Now, we need to find the half-life. We don't need to know the initial, or we could start with 100 again. We're going to get the same thing. We want to know when the initial of A gets down to half of that. So we want to know when it's down to 0.5A equals A times 0.2 to the T over 7. And we can cancel the A's out because we're going to divide both sides by A. And so we get 0.5 equals 0.2 to the T over 7. So here's where we'll employ logs or natural log, whatever you prefer. We're going to take the log of both sides because now I can pull the exponent out front. So I have log of 0.5 equals t over 7 log of 0.2. We're almost there to getting our half-life. Our half-life is a time. So um, I'm going to multiply both sides by 7 so that's going to give me 7 log of 5 over here and gets rid of it there and then divide both sides by log of 0.2 and I've got my t. Now this isn't very pretty right now but um, this is something I can calculate in a calculator. So doing so let's go ahead and uh, do that. We have 7 times log of 0.5 divided by log of 0.2 and we've got a half-life of about 3.0147 days so just under half a week which makes sense because it's decaying exponentially as it decays more it's going to actually decay slower over time so there's our half-life 
and we had built our model earlier right here. Now if we know an initial amount we can plug it in there. So that's how we can do those two given just a little bit of information.